you could probably fit, I don't know, another 10, 12 of these then just in this little space. Yeah, well, I think the um, it's around 10 machines to 80 square meters. So it's a, a very high output from that, machine, that, that floor purpose. So you're floor talking purpose. about a real density of engineering capacity. Yeah, I mean, if you look at this machine and compare it to a, a, an alternative um, brand, then you could potentially get two machines in the same footprint as, as the single spindle machine. We're here at the Tornos factory in Switzerland. I'm here with David Dunn from Premier Machine Tools, who supplied these wonderful machines in the UK and Ireland. But we're here. We're going to be reviewing the Swiss Nano 10, which is your brand new machine. Cheers. Let's have a quick look inside. It's, yep. it's an impressive looking machine, but it's in quite a compact space. What kind of parts would you make on this? So the Swiss Nano 10 is a development of the existing Swiss Nano range, so the four and the seven. This gives you a, a slightly bigger bar capacity and obviously also a, a longer headstock stroke. So it's really looking at micro-mechanics, but it could be aerospace, could be automotive, could be medical as well. So lots of different market segments. And when people think sliding head machines, they normally think there's a lot of round features, but it's not just round features now you're doing. There's a lot of different complex features you can do on these parts in one hit on this machine. Yeah, with the um, Nano 7 and the Nano 10, um, we have a lot more driven tool capability in the main operations and in counter operations. So we have the possibility for gear hobbing, uh, thread whirling, uh, polygon turning, and so on. So the, op so the options for being able to do uh, one part in one hit um, complete on this one machine is, 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 is endless. Can we just discuss actually what the options are for, for the different configurations here? You've got lots of different tool posts available and lots of different areas where you can fit driven tooling. Why do you need all these different options? To suit the component that you want to make really. So with this, we, this is really a stripped out version that we've got here. So we can have on the, the main platen here, we can have either all turning tools, we can have a shorter plate that we see here, and then we can have up to three driven tools. So you can have your thread whirling, thread milling, um, uh, gear hobbing, and so on. Um, and then we have counter spindle and end working positions down here. So again, we can have stationary tools, or we can have dri driven tools there, high frequency spindles, for an example. Um, and then in counter operations, we have four positions as standard, but we can change those out for either stationary or we can have driven tools in there as well, up to two in counter operations for linear uh, and uh, tangential. So they're very, they're, they're very generalist in that you could put any kind of configuration of, of tools you want, but once you do that, it then becomes a specialist machine just for that one part. And that means you can uh, shave off every piece of cycle time that you need to, to achieve. The, what kind of volumes would people be uh, achieving with these machines? Um, I mean, they can be, can be you know, very low batch numbers, but equally they can be very high volume as well. And one of the things with the nano products is the way they've been designed enables you to put a lot of machines into a very small footprint. So you're maximizing the output from that square footage um, because of the design and the access to the machine um, as it's required. Yeah, you look at this machine from afar and you think, well, there's not much here, is there? But the amount of engineering knowledge that's gone into this yeah. is very impressive. And I guess people know the four and the seven for their thermal stability, their rigidity. Yep. What, has been, what, has, what has been carried over in the design that allows you to still sell that torn off, that Swiss Nano rigidity and stability? It's really the, the design of the casting and that's the main Let's feature. come around and have a quick look at sure, the casting. Yeah. It's just around here. So it's a, a main feature of the um, of the machine really is the symmetrical casting. So the thermal expansion of the machine is very linear and, and very stable. Uh, there's a lot of work been put into the casting to um, circulate air around the casting to give the, uh, the stability. Um, and that gives the machine obviously improved accuracy as well. Um, yeah, because I guess when you're running these things lights out 24 seven, as many people do, the, the utilization of these machines is up in the 90% range. Yeah. You need to make sure that at three o'clock in the morning when it's, I don't know, when the machine's been running for 24 hours and it d doesn't get too hot and make bad parts because you could be making, you could have thousands of parts in that basket and you want them all to be bang on and, yeah. and correct, don't you? Yeah, exactly, yeah. And, and you know, the, the, the thermal stability, if you look at the Nano 4, Tornos have had um, experienced manufacturing parts on there, holding tolerance of plus or minus one micron. So they are very stable and very um, consistent in production. And what about the controls on these machines? Are these to use? Yeah, so these are uh, standard FANUC um, controls, so twin channel programming, um, ISO command, so a, a conventional control that people will be used to. So you can, you can synchronize both spindles and it's really easy to set one program on one side, one program on the other side. Yeah, exactly. And you can program obviously directly on the machine or you can program with the Tyson software from Tornos. Oh, okay. So if you're pumping out all of these parts, obviously you're cutting some material. What, how do you do the swarf evacuation and how do you do the swarf management? So the swarf management is generally, um, on a basic machine, is, is through the front here. Um, but on the, 
the uh, Nano 10, we can have the option of a small conveyor as well. So that takes us all through the machine, under the machine and out the back to, co to, uh, to again maximise the, uh, the output from the floor space. So we're not adding a con conveyor that takes up additional floor space. Yeah, so the small conveyor back here actually, it goes under the, under the bar feeder, which exactly, is, yeah. it's, it's, it's wasted space because that bar yeah. feeder sat up here on centre. You've got all this space under here yeah. you're not using. So e Even down to the, on, on this machine, the con conventional um, coolant setup, the coolant tank goes under the machine. So again, we need a bigger coolant capacity, we need high pressure coolant, for example, and it's all stored under the bar feeder, so utilising the floor space properly. And that high pressure coolant makes cool make sure you're reducing your tool wear, meaning you don't have to have systems, as much system tooling, you've got a better swarf evacuation as well, so you can make sure that those, those uh, parts are cut as easily as possible yes, as well. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Okay, let's talk about the working area now. Okay. So I guess you see quite a lot of sliding head shops will have uh, a machine after machine after machine all in a line just so they can achieve the different parts, the, the 10 different parts, but in the ridiculous volumes, they need them all running as yep. quick as possible. So where would the operator be, be working this machine and how does that allow, it to, allow you to maximize your floor space? So with the Nano 4, Nano 7 and Nano 10, the design of the machines is primarily the same. So we have access to the work area from the front here, but also from the side, um, to the headstock and the, the uh, fanet control is all from the side of the machine. So that enables us to have a completely um, clean backside to the machine, which enables us to put another machine in very close proximity to it, maximising the output from the floor space. So you could stick, you could flip this machine around again and yep. nest it in right yep. here. And so, in this room, you could probably fit, I don't know, another 10, 12 of these then just in this little space. Yeah, well, I think the um, it's around 10 machines to 80 square metres, so it's a a very high output from that, machine, that, that floor post. So you're talking about a real density of engineering capacity. Yeah, I mean, if you look at this machine and compare it to a, a, an alternative um, brand, then you could potentially get two machines in the same footprint as, as the, the, the single, single spindle machine elsewhere. So. so I know that your four mil and your seven mil Swiss Nanos are, are very popular. Mm -hmm. Why do you need a 10 mil? So it's, it's market driven, as most things are generally. Um, this gives us obviously the bigger bar capacity um, and also the, the longer lengths. Um, primarily, a lot of the demand has come from medical sector for bone screws and that type of um, equipment. But obviously there's other markets as well that that increase in, in capacity will, uh, will benefit. If someone's looked at your four and your seven and thought, well, I can't, I, my parts are a little bit longer than that. What is the actual length for the, for the 10 here? So on here, it's, it's 100 millimeter maximum stroke. Right, so, okay, which is pretty because I guess you need to take the, the bush out. Uh, so you, you need to put the bush in to achieve yeah. those lengths. But yeah. you can also use this bushless as well. Yes. So again, it's all about the options on the front, the options at the back yeah. for getting the absolute smaller cycle time for that part. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and yeah, as you say, bush is running up to two and a half to three times diameter. Brilliant. For high volume parts and machines you can trust, get in touch with David Dunn from Premium Machine Tools. Check out the tour on our Swiss Nano 10 brand new machine.